What are those? Well, these are what are going to be replacements for some styrofoam cups. We'll get to that in a minute. Let's go see what Doug's doing. All right. This car is still getting worked on. So Nick's machine, I guess we'll start here. This is going to be going on our big trip. And our good friend Mike Reed just spiffed the heck out of it. Did all sorts of stuff. Oil change, belt change, greased it. Who else? What, I don't know. What do you do? Just tell me, Rick. Come on. Mike Reed's a real good dude. He did pretty much everything that Nick Seuss hasn't done on this. So <laughs> thanks, Mike Reed. You can still come over and watch mine if you want. Uh, <laughs> good no, call. He asked me like six times eight. Hey, man, want me to change the oil on this? So this got about 200 miles on it. Hey, man, you want me to change the oil on it? <laughs> no. Mike Reed, too nice a guy. So this thing's ready to burn. Uh, the spherical joints that I needed just showed up for this. So we got that. The freaking monkeys are burning and Doug Battlefield over here is actually burning. So burning. what's going on here? We are uh, pulling these pins and replacing uh, rollers on that uh, customer unit we had in here with the busted ones. So these suckers come out pretty dang hard. See, we got one out, the other two came halfway out and then started to bind up. And uh, our puller was just bending like a piece of cheese. So <laughs> just did a little quick mod to stiffen her up. And uh, I see that, the stiffener mod. That's a pretty good looking weld. We're gonna see if we can get her get her moving again. Not a bad thing. So yeah, if you guys uh, ever had a broken roller on your X3 secondary, you are amongst an elite group of people who've also had broken rollers on their secondaries. Turns out, that's a lot of people. How satisfying is that, though? Yeah, we're burning now. The puller mod was good. Right. Reminds me of the Huckers when they had the Wildcat A army. <laughs> <laughs> Got the sick freaking huge gusset on there for no uh, reason. Oh, so this one does have a reason. So the main issue here is it looked like the uh, pins got pretty beat up when the rollers got scooped. So, not fun. Here we are, though. Two down, one to go. Where's the new rollers? New rollers are here somewhere. Somewhere. I'm playing with them right here. Okay, cool. What are these made out of, bro? Do you know? I don't know what this material is, but uh, it's apparently better than stock, so we'll give them a run, see how they hold up. Nice. So what else are we doing today, Rick? Got a special truck coming in for some special work. Oh, okay. Might take it around the track, try oh. out the special work. Oh. Even though it has really no impact on that, but might as well. All right, listen. The tractor flaps are going on the race unit. Oh, we got styrofoam. Gosh. We got we got oh styrofoam gosh. cups that we got to take off every time we want to go drive that thing. That's yeah, it's a huge Done. inconvenience. Yeah. Too much time spent on that. Turns out four seconds is too much time. Right. So we can just bolt these on, real easy like. Thanks tractor supply for having these at two different locations, making me drive 45 minutes to get them. But anyways, good mod. What were you going to say, Doug? I was just going to say that, you know, the old race unit, you guys might think it has no purpose here, but the purpose for that truck is going to become very clear very soon. Yeah, maybe next so, week we'll get to the mods on that. Yeah. There's a reason it's here, and you're right. going to like it. So This was always the plan for the race unit, by the way. It was always the plan, but things have developed in such a way that the plans have gotten even better. And like Doug said, once you see the plans, you'll understand how it's transformed. <laughs> that makes sense. Well, let's uh, go install those bad boys. Got both tractor flaps, dude. Do you really own an 88 to 98 Chevy if you don't have a number one keychain that's been Swiss cheesed? Think about that for a second. I'm not sure the relevance of the Swiss cheese, but that works. Hey, Phoebe, you're gonna have to go back inside. You got heavy machinery. Come on. Sorry, darling. Go hang out with Uncle Doug. Okay. What's Off that? to the race unit. Uh, my dog's in the office, unfortunately. And then I was cleaning it and then I didn't realize she shit on the blanket and then I stepped in the shit and then tracked the shit around the office. Overall, her pain meds make her do that so I can't get too mad, but I'm still what you'd call not happy. Hey, is what it is. Yep. Good dog at the end of the day. Yep. So these are the current uh, flap situations, which I mean, they've been working good. Yeah, me and Mike Reed went to uh, Ace Hardware, Reese, Michigan. Picked up ourselves a bandsaw said, hey, want a couple cold pops for the road? I said this, yeah. Yup. Turns out they make good protectors for keeping rain out of your motor. How do you think we're gonna Don't orient scratch these? the paint up, man. That's a good point. I would think backwards. Well, yeah, maybe not. I don't know, what do you think, man? Yeah, I like this. I guess if we're on the road, though, yeah, 
we're towing, it might flip it up. That's a good point. So there you go. Installation here is pretty tough. This uh, the book called for was that three hours per. Yeah, real uh, real gravy job that you're gonna make a lot of money on in this job here. Yeah. The first thing you need to do is make sure you have at least a snap-on socket. That's a good unit overall. Okay, she's going on. I respect this. What is this for? Maybe a, a spring or something? Hmm. Who's to say? I'm sure we have some local equipment operator that watches these that can maybe fill us in. Yeah, I'm not sure what the hole's for. There's nothing spring else really. Maybe, uh, yeah, spring does make sense, but why would you want it to spring open? Anyway, let's just cut to this thing flapping these bad boys, huh? That's HD, look at that. You're not wrong. Yeah, we were out here a couple hours getting this one done, but she's ready to go. And uh, I'm ready to hear this thing. Maybe it'll somehow quiet it down. Whew. I hope not. It's a good car. Hey, cool car, man. <laughs> the brace unit. I was hoping somehow maybe that would like quiet it. I don't know what I was thinking. It just uh, doesn't do anything. Whew. It's just so loud. Even if it did touch the exhaust when the freaking cap came down, you're not going to hear it. No. I mean, it's, it's loud. She idles good though. Hey, cool mod. Well, I guess we'll just keep modding stuff, dude. Yeah, work's done for the day as far as I'm concerned. We can go home. Maybe I'll take this around the track first. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> That's a bad combination of PPE, dude. What does that mean? You know, it's one of those situations where you gotta make a choice. Are you gonna protect your head? Are you gonna prevent yourself from going deaf? There's no real compromise here. You're not wrong. It's time to test the race unit. And she's going around the track. Time to set a lap in the, in the race unit here, man. I'm excited. The uh, Tawanda China mud terrains are really gonna be burning. And this interior is a lot dirtier than I really imagined it being. Jesus, dude. Look wow. Yeah, I wish we had a GoPro in here for when we took the uh, mud life out to the old lake. And you would be surprised how much mud was in here that's not currently in there. Oh, you wow. Think this is bad. You can ask Doug. Took the power washer to both the doors. Maybe some of the interior as well. So this has been cleaned. Yeah, it's been cleaned. It's been. Wow. Race unitized. Wow. But good enough for who it's for, I like to say. Good point. Hey, let her rip. Hey. Phew, man. So we just made our way out to the track. It looks like our buddy Frankie fixed some stuff stuff up for us. So big jump smoothed out a little bit. We got a little more clearance on the lander. Smoothed the lander out. Looks like he fixed up the berm a little. We Hell got, yeah. And now you're committed to actually making that berm corner. Because if not, you're hitting that yeah, death pile. You're not going to go over top of that. So she's looking good out here. I don't know what's going to happen first. I'm excited to see if this throws better than the last jump. It's still a little bit notchy right now but it shouldn't be a big deal I think in a side by side yeah smooth it out a little bit i think it'll hit similar to how it was before but uh yeah looks good out here man regardless race units doing a lap so it's probably not going to take a jump line 
unless Rick grows a giant set of balls. It's probably gonna take the inner line, which is what we call the low suspension travel line. <laughs> right, right. Uh, I am very excited to see that thing go around the track. I think it's going to struggle with a couple of the corners, but you know, what it lacks in agility, it's gonna make up for in noise. So. Uh, let's do a lap guess. <laughs> oh, interesting. We can say it on three. I have a number. Um, all right, I'm ready. Okay, one, two, three, 48. 39. 48? Slower gonna get than the bike? It's going to get hung up in that corner over there. Oh, good point. You're going to run this thing in two or four? Oh, four for sure. How are you oh, going to well. swing that corner, though? <laughs> we'll see. Uh, all right, man. Let's get this thing burning. You don't know this GMT 400 dude has the wheel or the what do you call it? Turning radius of this Honda Monkey dude. Guaranteed. Ah. Not sure if that's true, but all right. All right, all right. <laughs> you ready? Compromised on head safety, so hearing it was good while I had it. You'll be able to hear. Just put your window up. That takes away some of the novelty, I feel. That's a good point. All right, hey, good luck to you, yeah, brother. Cool. <laughs> wow. All right, so he's getting a feel for it now. I do understand the get a water truck comments. <laughs> so if you feel like saying get a water truck, that's no big deal. I would love a water truck. Man. <laughs> oh. oh my god, what is he doing? Something's broke, something's broke. Wow. seen better days dude <laughs> oh rick caston seen better days dude <laughs> are you broke Whoa. Oh, no. are you broke man <laughs> Woo. <laughs> wow Woo. how'd you feel about that uh, i don't know just tell me the time <laughs> i can't i don't have two more in me <laughs> don't have two more in me. listen you ran a very respectable 43.66. Dang, dude, she beat the monkey. Can't wow. Much more than that. You got air three times <laughs> from hitting that jump once over there. That was pretty cool. You're not wrong. That was excellent. Uh, some of the corners were great. Like I took that one, I felt very good about it. Okay. Other things didn't feel so great about, like anything that required suspension. <laughs> yeah. I think it might be worth the investment of shocks on this unit because it clearly has springs in the form of a leaf, but it doesn't dampen. There's no dampening occurring. I mean, those shocks are not burning right. I would agree. Those, those are pretty are, much gone. Those are probably Gabriel's from about 1993, so anybody at AutoZone want a lifetime warranty of those for me. I'd do the same for you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was that was very intense. I mean, I'll drive the pro around, but after that, I don't know. It's a hard show to follow. 
You're not gonna jump it, Doug? Woo! I do wanna see it hit that jump. I do wanna see that. There's only one man here to make that happen. All right, so here's, I think here's the play. I hit it with the pro a few times and understand what the speed is to really hit the lander okay. in one of those. And then I think add a couple mile an hour. Does the speedometer work in this thing? I mean, it reads something. I don't know if it's accurate. I mean, it shows numbers, but. Oh, no. We get a phone in there maybe for like a phone GPS speed. Yeah, maybe. Coming up short, blowing the front end off, not what we want to do. It's like almost no way you'd come up short. I hate to even say that, but this thing has got a good amount of power, I think. All right, well, I'm going to rip the pro around and I'm just going to think about it. <laughs> got it. What do you expect to see out here, Rick? Overall, great machine. Good driver, dude. A lot of magic to happen, I feel. Yeah, it could do really good. So this is, uh, in our testing at least, probably the fastest car on the market right now on a short course. At least uh, our short courses. So we'll see as he comes in here. First flying start. in the muck. Oh, two wheel, almost into the trees. Saved it. I think it sounds great with that muffler. Oh yeah, nice and smooth. back where it goes i guess i can hit ghoul hill a couple times <laughs> and i got the freaking monkey up here ghoul hill has turned into freaking picker bush hill yeah. have to do a little mowing up here yeah a little trimming he'll send it oh yeah oh yeah look at that piece of bumper just freaking <laughs> shaking on the back all right round two <laughs> oh god man <laughs> Rick you almost took me out bro I'm glad to see that. yeah glad you're, okay. you're gonna do that again or what yeah, what's the need? More speed? always more speed okay so Rick goes what does it need more speed and I says it always needs more speed as long as he doesn't hit me this time I'll be happy Give him the jump symbol, dude. Jump. Jump it, Rick! Oh, he's pissed. He's pissed. <laughs> Pretty much one of the most terrifying positions. He's got to cut between us without seeing us. Be careful down there. up here. Hope he really sends this one. Nice! <laughs> actually caught air on that one. Wish there wasn't so many damn bushes. Woo! 
What happened out there, Rick? Not quite sure. I mean, ran over Ghoul Hill a couple times. Not sure if there was any air underneath the tires or not. It was pretty fun though. Yeah, the bushes on Ghoul Hill have grown nearly out of control. It's good growing out here for some weeds. Right. Well, I guess uh, until tomorrow, we're gonna do some right. more stuff. See you then. See you then. See you. Can't see much of the dust down there. What did we see right there? I don't really know. So that was Rick versus our buddy Frankie, and I think uh, I don't know, 2008, 2009, 10, F250, probably 64, I think. Couldn't tell you. Looks like the uh, race unit did a pretty good job. Stumbled out of the hole, unfortunately. Maybe see if we'll they'll flag them down there. see if they'll run them back. All right. Here we go, round two. Good race. Oh, geared out. <laughs> I think the old Frankie 64 has got some work done to her. Well, boys, and all the other random things to happen today, we're finally now getting our very own 53-foot uh, storage trailer. So nothing will be in there. You definitely can't ransack this trailer, and it will be full of air. So don't worry about what's yeah, in the trailer. Just for show, man. Only for show. Also doesn't have an axle on it. It's Tough break. Cool. Rick, it's the next day. How you doing, bud? Uh, doing pretty good. Getting ready to go on a trip. Got uh, my machine apart, changing some pieces and parts. It's pouring out, or it was at least. Pretty bad rain. Uh, overall, just ready to leave the office and go up north. Okay, got it. Yeah, that's the plan. So it did rain super hard. Wow. Yeah, we got like 65 mile an hour gusts here just a few minutes ago. So. You know, we were gonna do beautiful. A little, we were going to do a little more ripping. Probably not going to do any more ripping today. Just finished loading, getting ready for this trip. So everything's clean, man. We got 168. We got Battlefield going on a trailer. We got the Talon R. We got the Pro 2-seater, WFO. We got the KRX. And then uh, Rick's going to take the three-place aluminum with the Buffalo and uh, probably the 2X3s on it. Or, you know, we'll Some shift combination around the machines of yeah, both. to fit them on there. But... Eight rigs, we're going for it, taking them all. Yeah, so hell yeah, so not bears and not taking the monkeys this time because uh, they're, I mean, we're gonna, do we say, we're gonna wreck them, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, this isn't the monkey trip. There no. will be monkey trips, but this is not the one. Maybe so. Glamis, dude. Imagine ripping those I things around camp. I can't imagine not wrecking them at Glamis. I don't know about that either, but. <laughs> we could take them out to Olds, see if they can make it up Olds. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so a little bit of loading. We're gonna do some KRX in this weekend, hopefully, and some taloning. Uh, I'm going to choose the main car as my, my car so I can test out those shock therapy springs. I think Rick's right there with you. But Yeah, I'm going to rip Battlefield too, man. It's been a while since I've had just yeah. a real good trail ride with that sucker. It's been a long time since it's been uh, as clean as it is now, so I'm excited about that as well. <laughs> it's going to infinitely uh, be much dirtier very soon. Yeah, five minutes in, but uh, yeah, I think that's probably it for now. So we'll see you guys back here in a couple days with... Uh, the first part of the trip and just as always thank you for being with us we appreciate you guys you know sticking in there and uh just coming back and continuing to watch these videos and for everybody who buys parts on the parts site and donates on patreon the same goes for you you guys are killing it just absolutely allowing us to do just the funnest stuff man so thank you guys so much if you haven't subscribed please consider doing that it doesn't cost you nothing it helps us out tremendously and uh, yeah, this trip is gonna be a banger. And as soon as we get back from that trip, we've got three days to prep for a super banger. Oof. And then just more crazy stuff after that. And so. after that, we'll probably end up going to, uh, to the dunes. We're going yeah. to the dunes. Yeah, our dunes are finally opening up. So uh, the final pieces for uh, 2JP will be here within the next week. So that bad boy is on the verge of firing up. Just all sorts of good stuff coming. Hell yeah. Well, all right, Dougie, see you next time. Yep, see ya.